Listen, dude, I already know how this is gonna work, okay? Only one of us is gonna walk away from this, and if it happens to be you, I would like to go use the bathroom before I go, because everybody knows when you die, you poop yourself. And that's the last thing that I want. What's going on over here? Oh, is there somebody already in the bathroom? I'm not waiting in line, screw that. Blood balls. What's up guys, and welcome back to Paint the Town Red. Now if you've been watching any of my series on this game, you know that more often than not, I'm on the wrong end of the law, right? I'm usually a prisoner, or a thief, or both, come to think of it. And today, that's all gonna change, okay? I'm tired of living that life, I'm gonna turn over a new leaf, I've come to a map called a small gas station, and I've applied as an attendant. Sir, you're being really rude right now, okay? I'm trying to do an intro. Just a moment, sir, okay? It's my first day on the job, and I'm pretty sure this register is nothing but cubes and plates and dinner trays. Okay, your total comes to $3.85, and you'll be paying with a stack of $100 bills? Uh, I, I don't really have change for that. <laughs> Can I interest you in a bottle of liquor? You look like you could use it. Maybe- Oh! Oh, oh no. No, no, no. My boss is gonna be pissed. No, no, Ted. Okay, come on. It's not my fault. The guy just kind of fell on the liquor. What are you doing behind the cash, sir? Sir, sir, I'm gonna have to escort you out of here. We have security. What are they doing when I get hit by a shovel? <laughs> behind the cash. That is not okay. Sir, you didn't pay for that shovel. He didn't pay for that shovel. You see what I mean? He didn't bring that shovel. That's a company shovel that he hit me with. He's waiting in line like everybody else who's still being incredibly rude. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm just gonna go on break. Yeah, somebody will be right out, I'm sure. There have to be other employees. Yeah, you see? They're just sitting here doing a whole lot of nothing. My boss is, uh... Well, you know, he's not all there. He works me really hard, not the others, but at the same time, he uses a bar of soap as a mouse. So, you know, I think he's just not all there. But at the same time, do you guys want to go do anything? You're just gonna hotbox the boss's office? Pretty sure there's a car outside waiting to get gas. There's people in line. No, nothing. Okay, no, that's cool. I'll get it. I'm not even gonna ask why a customer is pounding our boiling pots full of water with a weight. That's kind of weird. Okay, no, I have a car to get to, right? I'm sure, yeah, here we go. Okay, sorry about that, sir. You're just loading up. Um, I can gas you up, maybe? Yeah, here we go. Okay, that's the stuff. We're just gonna put that right. Okay, um, um, that's my bad. Listen, it's my first day if you, okay. That's just the tipping point, is it? Security, security. Jamal, you better deal with these people. They're hitting me with company jugs. That's not your jug. If you haven't paid for the jug, you can't have the jug. Please get away from me. I am gonna get in so much trouble. That was an expensive jug. Get away. Again with the shovel, dude. We've been over this. This isn't yours. <laughs> My boss is gonna have a shit fit. Ooh. That's a cool motorcycle. Ow, ow, oh my god, why is this so difficult? Jamal, will you please help me out here? There's only, ow, there's only so much I can do. <laughs> I'm going back inside. You know what, I knew these boiling pots were good for something. Here, how about, how about some of this? Ow, I keep only finishing off one person before I get shoveled. You know what, I don't even need this job, okay? I can go get another job, I don't have to take this. You wanna pay with a stack of bills? Here, have a stack of bills. You can have that stack of bills. Everybody can have a stack of bills. See if I care. Hey, Ted, heads up. This is for never inviting me to hotbox your office, Ted. The trick to being a good cashier is to throw the register ooh, at people. I should have known there would be safety precautions. Okay, everybody hands up, I'm calling the police. That was a police officer. Whoops, whoops, okay, I didn't think they would be here already. Where did you get a primitive shield in a gas station? And where was the vast majority of your face? Hey, 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 get out of here. Okay, we got lots of shovels, plenty of shovels. <laughs> I am so happy this is my last day. I am not cleaning this up before I leave, okay? That's gonna be the guys in the back. It's all on them. Fluffles, what did I say about coming to my place of employment? Okay, that's not okay. Look, you see what happens when you come here? Bad things happen. Go wait in the car. Well, if it isn't Tweedledee and Tweedledum finally coming out to do some work, 
Where did those guys come from? <laughs> People see a brawl erupt on a gas station, everybody comes flooding in. This is bogus. Listen, dude, I already know how this is gonna work, okay? Only one of us is gonna walk away from this, and if it happens to be you, I would like to go use the bathroom before I go, because everybody knows when you die, you poop yourself. And that's the last thing that I want. What's going on over here? Oh, is there somebody already in the bathroom? I'm not waiting in line, screw that. Fluffballs, it was you. Why are you eating an apple and combing your hair on the can? Okay, well, you know what? We can, we can just double up, how about that? Six people alive and I have just what they need. Oh, Jabal, I didn't have to be this way, but you let me down too many times. <laughs> Oh crap, oh crap. Okay, that guy survived a couple of punches. They're the scary ones. Hey, what's up, co-worker? Uh, I'm gonna go on break so you can take over. Oh, oh, okay, 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 what the? He just took like three berserk hits on the chin. Oh, I am so done, I quit. I think it's probably for the best that things didn't work out at the gas station. You know, that job just isn't really for me. I need a much more prestigious position. So I've decided to apply at KFC. <laughs> Except I'm a manager. You see how all these little underlings are working the cash? And I'm just roaming around not really doing any work? Pretty sweet, huh? Uh, sir? Excuse me? Please get out of the wall. That's not allowed at- oh, okay, yeah, you know what, you just- just care, carry on. Actually, that's a friend of mine. Should I help him? Mm, no, I think I'm gonna go back to work. I really need to make this job work, so let's just see what's going on in the back. We have, uh, crying chefs, and we have, uh, yeah, look at that. We're making food. Nice little clean kitchen, everything going on here. Hmm. I'm still kind of worried about my friend though, but I, I just, I, I, come on, it's my first day. Why do I always need to be a hero? You uh, might want to use a little bit of water to clean those dishes. That's usually how that works. I mean, don't mind me, I'm, I'm just a manager. Actually, you know what, I'm not a manager, I'm the colonel. Yeah, that's right. So no smoking in my kitchen or else I'm gonna bury you. Okay, we'll remember that. When we run out of chicken, guess who's next? Hands on the floor. Really guys, we can't go and use this to make chicken now, obviously because you don't really use a pan for chicken, but also because everybody knows that Timothy over there is not gonna wash the dishes properly, so I'll go take care of it. You know what, I'm sure there's probably something we can figure out to do with this pan, huh? Like saving a friend? That's right, I don't need this job screw. What did I, Fluffles, Fluffles, what did I say? Why is it you are always here pooping? Every time I go to work, he's like, okay, but I, I need to take a wicked dump first. Hey, 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 no, 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 don't corner me on the pooper. Added bonus to working at KFC, you can't really see the blood on the walls. Same goes with the brains, it really all helps. I should probably help Fluffles, shouldn't I? Ooh, you, you really don't want to go down. Is that my boss? Are you my boss? Oh my god, he just took like four tasers, it didn't do anything. Uh, let's just go over here, yeah, and uh... Maybe we could just grab a little, no, no, I'm not gonna grab a little bit of the cash, okay? I'm done with the thieving life. It is so easy to fall back into your old ways and do the wrong thing, but you just have to remember true Christian values and beat a guy to death with a pot. Whoa, 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 what is this? This is red meat. This isn't chicken. Sir, this isn't chicken. This isn't Kentucky Fried Red Meat. Did you see that? I'm gonna have to go have a word with the kitchen staff. I'm, I'm sorry about your experience, sir. Let me make it up to you by uh, complimentary uh, jar. I think that's a jar. It's really hard to tell when it's in your skull. <laughs> oh my God, why is everything so difficult? <laughs> Just give me a weapon that isn't made out of plastic. There we go, okay. Now, kitchen staff, what is... Uh, why would I expect any different? Gentlemen, I am the Colonel, and you will all bow to me, no matter how much of your head remains. And if you will not bow, then you will fall. Bow to me. Do it. Do it now. Fluffles, do you remember we practiced bow? Can you do a bow for me? Oh, that guy hit you in the balls. That's kind of rude, so we're just gonna take a bit more of his face. Huh. Turns out they can hit me up there. 
Guys, I have been finding fruit and red meat all over this KFC and not a lick of chicken. So you're gonna have to explain what's going on or I'm taking my 11 secret herbs and spices and shoving them straight up your ass. They were willing to give up the information. I can respect that. Five people left. We have three over here. So where are the other two? Hmm, can you guys follow me please? Because I have Berserk and I wouldn't mind using it on everybody. This isn't exact, oh, it's these two. Okay, hold on a second. I'm coming, friendo. Here we go. I got you. I got you. Hold on. Oh, you're a tough boy, aren't you? You've been eating all the chicken. Gonna grow up, be big and strong. Hey, 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 why are all of these people not splattering at the berserks? Come on. There we go. And you know what? We were never friends. I, I never liked you. I didn't want to go to your birthday party. <laughs> because you wanted to have a pizza party and not a chicken party. I know I said that there are more jobs out there, but I don't know if there are infinite jobs, so I might want to improve my behavior. Okay, I pulled some strings and I managed to get an office position. It's super chill, nine to five, you do almost nothing. I'm here on my lunch break right now, and I'm kind of hoping that things keep going well, why are you beating your chair with a tray? I, you know what, maybe I just shouldn't ask questions. Why are you drinking on the job? Did you just have a weird face twitch? I saw that. No, guys, come on. I was doing, I was doing so well. I was doing good work. My 401k was gonna be rocking and now I've got people dancing on washing machines and sitting on chairs incorrectly or against walls incorrectly. Oh no, oh, boss, listen. Things, no, 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 it wasn't, it wasn't me, it wasn't me, no, go, go, Dis go discipline them. Why do they always pin this on me? I cannot believe this. It's this guy in the white suit, he just hates me. <laughs> He's got something against me because everywhere I go, he becomes the boss and then I just get blamed for everything. This is bogus, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Ow, I'm, I know one thing I'm gonna do is kick you in the head. Ah, uh, uh, you're not so tough with a toothbrush shoved down your neck now, are ya? Steve, you never did get those memos to me on time, and you know what, Fred? I just didn't like the look of your face, so I think we should just be done. Yeah, you guys are fired, I'm in charge now. The guy with the katana clearly runs the business. You're fired, and you're fired. Fluffles, what did I say about coming to my place of work? Every freaking level, man, it's unbelievable. Did you do your business? No, no, you wait here. Where was he pooping this time? I gotta figure that out. What's going on in here? Oh, we had the break room. Never even got to see that. And you could just go away. Sit down, God, bad boy. Just wait there. Hey, get out of the way. He was in here taking a poop. Look at that, that's a fluffle scene if I've ever seen one. Man. All right, I should have done a little bit more exploring, but you know what? I, I, I just, I had to tell the boss what was going on. I felt it was really important. <laughs> I swear I'm not a snitch, but at the same time, I do want this place to be better. What kind of break room is this? Like, I can understand the billiards and the bench and stuff like that, but oh, no! Fluffles, I'm sorry. It was just a rea- Oh no, that one's Fluffles. They all look alike. Yeah, that was just a reaction. I just, hey, hey. I almost did it again. I almost took you off at the shoulders. <laughs> okay, get up, we're leaving. There's gotta be a way out of here somewhere, right? This is a very large company. There's one, oh. Uh, no, you know what? The guy with the sword is in charge, so I think I'm just gonna hold on to it. I hear meaty little slaps in here. What's going, what are you guys up to? A little private party? How you doing, peg leg? There's only one person left? What, what, Fluffles already leave? That time he finally listened to me? Oh, that does not look safe. Okay, maybe we should just have a word with you. So, what do you want to talk about? I'm just kidding, I want to take your leg off. <laughs> it was the most humane way of doing it, okay? It had to be amputated, trust me. I am a gas attendant at KFC. I am gonna take this experience and I'm gonna grow from it, but I'm probably not gonna put it on my resume. I would imagine that 30 murders doesn't look good on a resume. 
But I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Paint the Town Red, guys. And I absolutely love making these weird story type workshop videos and people seem to really enjoy watching them. So if you guys have any recommendations for multiple levels that could kind of mesh together to make a video like this, be sure to leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to check them out. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.